Breaking news story. Yeah, developing this morning, a Valley police officer killed in the line of duty. The Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community lost officer Clayton Townsend last night. Now Townsend hit and killed during a traffic stop on the 101. Team 12's Jen Wall is live at the Maricopa County Medical Examiner's Office in Phoenix. Jen, what do we know about this case? What led up to this tragedy? Good morning to you, Emma and Paul. Well, what we can tell you this morning is the entire law enforcement community across the state of Arizona mourning the loss of Officer Clayton Townsend, who lost his life too soon last night. DPS is still investigating this whole incident, and they tell us Clayton Townsend made the traffic stop right around 6 p.m. yesterday. It all happened on the Loop 101 just south of the McDowell off-ramp. As he approached the car, Clayton Townsend stopped stopped on the side of the road and DPS says that is when he was hit. That driver also hitting the car that was stopped. The driver this morning we're learning did stay on scene. Now Officer Townsend was rushed to Scottsdale Osborne Hospital where he sadly later died. His officers, brothers in blue, standing watch outside of the hospital and during the procession from the hospital to the medical examiner's office. It was quite a moving moment as these unfortunate events usually are. Officer Townsend was with the force for five years. He leaves behind a wife and 10 month old son. The Salt River Police Chief, as well as DPS, both talking about the man Officer Townsend was. And at this time, uh, we just mourn the loss of the Salt River Officer Clayton Townsend, and we stand with law enforcement all together in, in losing a, a brother under these circumstances in which he was out doing his job. That's right, a senseless tragedy. He was just out doing his job, a routine traffic stop. Um, this morning, DPS says the driver that did hit Officer Townsend is cooperating with law enforcement overnight and throughout this morning. Also, Governor Doug Ducey ordered flags be lowered throughout the day today. Stay with 12 News and 12news.com for the latest on this story as we still have a lot to learn throughout the coming days. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Jen Wall, Today in AZ. All right, Jen, thank you for that update. We'll get more details to you as the morning rolls along. A bit of a somber start, but we got to get you up to speed to start your work or school day with a check of our forecast. Yeah, a lot of people not using their heat as much. Uh, I had the window mornings. open last night. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Emma, we got to savor these next three, four You're months. I don't care if I'm cold. Yeah. I'm going to be so stinking hot in a couple months. It's like <laughs> I will suck it up. Yeah, no, I know that. Yeah. So uh, we'll be joining that. I'll tell you, this is what we have right now. Uh, clear conditions. 49 outside, not the 30s that we had about a week ago. And as far as what we can expect throughout the whole rest of the valley, no 30s on the map right now, just 42 for Buckeye. It's about as cold as it gets. Uh, the radar is looking pretty quiet. A couple of high clouds out there. And Vanessa, this afternoon, beautiful. Probably the best one so far of 2019 with a high of 72 degrees. And it's still a little brisk for this morning. All right, I love it. Thank you, Jimmy. Well, at this time, there are no accidents to report, but we do see some traffic building up in the West Valley. This is on Grand near Indian School, just a small area. And another area on Grand is you're heading west in the Sun City town there. So just be aware of that when you're heading out. Other than that, we have a lot of green all the way from the east to the west. So coming up in my next report, I'll give you a look at our future cast for 7 a.m. Emma? All right, sounds good. Thanks, Vanessa. Well, the Buckeye Police Department also mourning the loss of a beloved officer this morning. One of the department's retired canine, Cito, passed away on Monday at the age of 12. Buckeye police say he and his partner found thousands of pounds of drugs and millions of dollars during drug investigations. He served with the department for about eight years. One Arizona man is fighting to keep his name free from the Las Vegas massacre in his upcoming trial. Douglas Haig's attorney says Haig wants to prevent a federal jury from hearing references to the shooting in his upcoming trial on charges that he illegally made ammo found in the shooter's Las Vegas Strip Hotel suite. Haig has not been charged in the shooting, but prosecutors refer in court documents to that massacre. The partial government shutdown is heading into its third week very soon. Paul, just open your mouth and then it'll make it not so awkward. There, oh, sure, that'll work. All right, One Valley Charity doing what it can to help families of federal workers in Arizona. St. Mary's Food Bank says they have shipped out food boxes to families of Grand Canyon National Park employees furloughed during the shutdown. You got to think about them, right? APS says it's also stepping up to help. The utility announcing a $500,000 fund 
to help Arizonans impacted by the federal government shutdown. The Phoenix Mercury have parted ways with an assistant coach over a domestic violence situation. That's Todd Troxel. He faces charges in Paradise Valley, stemming from a fight with his fiance at their home. Several reports say Troxel's fiance injured one of her hands. He's been with the team for the past five seasons. Bruce Arians is back coaching in the NFL. Arian signing on to be next head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Anyone else heartbroken? He's expected to bring with him many of the coaches that he had with him in Arizona because they were a great team. The 65 year old retired last season after five years with the Cardinals. His deal in Tampa is for four years with a fifth year option. BA gone to Tampa Bay, but the cards, we got a new man. This is Cliff Kingsbury. Announced as the next head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. The team making it official yesterday, and the Cards will introduce him in a press conference this afternoon. Could be an interesting year ahead on 12 News, your official home of the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Paul, a lot of people looking at this as uh, Cliff who? A whole lot of ladies subtweeting Cliff Kingsbury on Twitter <laughs> the last uh, 12 hours or so. <laughs> if you're not familiar with this guy, it might be because he's never coached in the NFL, but the 39-year-old wonderkind, as a 39-year-old wonderkind is wont to do, Kingsbury is drumming up plenty of attention on social media. So here's what the Twitterverse has to say. Don't mind this camera just okay. hanging out with me here. <laughs> First thing to note that the Cardinals actually changed their Twitter handle oh to God. Cardinals with a K, Arizona <laughs> Cardinals. They're talking about seeing Ryan Gosling trending in Twitter right now because Cliff Kingsbury looks just like Ryan Gosling and he really dresses does. like him too. Yeah. Hashtag cards got Cliff. Let's see what else is here. Kyle Odegaard, one of the reporters for the cards. Prominent quarterbacks who played under Cliff Kingsbury, Case Keenum, Johnny Manziel, Baker Mayfield, all guys with bright NFL futures enjoying some success right now. Could Josh Rosen be the next one to join that group? We shall see. Christian Kirk looks pretty happy by the hire. They're not ready with the shush. He's trying to keep people from talking. Uh, Rosen also tweeting this, welcome coach. Little Photoshop action there. Those two have never stood next to each other before, mm -hmm. but that might change today when they introduce the head coach to the press conference at one o'clock. So, I'm just saying, uh, everybody's excited about Cliff Kingsbury, at least on a surface level, especially for a guy who hasn't coached an NFL game.